Hey friends, Mr. Ben here, and today for Science Explorers, we're going to be talking about temperature and density. So first, we have to ask ourselves, what is density? So density is the measure of how much stuff is in how much space. So if you have a lot of stuff in a little space, you have something that is very dense. But if you have a very little bit of stuff in a big space, that's something that is not very dense, all right? So what does that have to do with temperature? Well, temperature is a measure of the movement of the molecules, the tiny particles that make up all the matter that we see. It's a measurement of how fast or slow that they're moving. And the faster that molecules move, the more that they're going to spread apart. And the more they spread apart, the less dense a material will be. So we're going to show that today with water. All right. So as we can see, I have some examples of our water here. And my warm water over here, there's not a lot of molecules in the same volume of space that my cool water over here is that has much more. That's because colder water is more dense than warmer water, or warm water is less dense than colder water. Okay? So if that's the case, you can see my little duck friend here, right? Our duck friend is less dense than the water, and I could put him in either one, and he'd still be less dense. And so that means that the duck will float. So things that are less dense will float on top of things that are more dense. So that means, if I'm correct, I should be able to put some warm water on top of some cold water, and it will stay just like that. All right. So I have got myself some warm and some cold water to demonstrate this. Now, first what we're going to do, all right, is we're going to try to get our warm water on top of our cold water and see if that works. Now, I have myself a little divider card to get that to happen. So first, I'm going to grab a cup and I'm going to fill it all the way to the tippy, tippy, tippy top. All right, so there's my warm water. Okay, and here's my cold water. And so now, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try and put the warm water on top of the cold water. Now, if I'm right, they're not going to mix together. If I'm wrong, they're going to mix together. So let's see what happens. Okay? So I took my card. I actually put some crayon on this. I put white crayon to make it a little bit more water resistant. So we have that just like that. We're going to flip this upside down. We're going to position it right on top. Try to, oops. and I'm slowly slowly going to slide the card out from underneath so that I'm very careful not to get them to slip past each other. All right, and all right. So I got a little bit of the cold water went up into the, the warm water. Whoops, I'm off camera. I got a little bit of the cold water up into the warm water, but for the most part, they've stayed separate, all right? But to prove that, all right, we need to do the reverse. We have to put the cold water on top and see if it's going to do exactly the same thing, all right? So I'm going to get myself another one set up here. All right, we're going to put the cold water in here. There's just enough. And we'll put the warm water in here. So now, I'm going to leave the warm water on the bottom, and I'm going to put the cold water on top. Let me just put the rest of that there, all right? So here we go. Same thing. All right. So I flip it over. I'm place it on top very gently, carefully. Okay. So now I'm going to start to move this to the side, make sure that they're together. All right. And you can already kind of see what's happening. All right. So take a look. We'll move us in a little bit closer. You can see from there, but take a look right here. Ooh, ooh, here we go. So you can see that when I put the warm water on top, the warm water stays, the cold water stays because the warm water is floating on top of the cold water. But when I put the cold water on top, the warm water is not dense enough to keep that water where it's supposed to be. So. There you have it, friends. That is a proof of density and that you can actually get liquids to layer on top of each other. Well, thank you very much. This is all I have for today. We want to thank National Grid for sponsoring this program. And until next time, friends.